How do you make up for a half a million dollar budget deficit in a small school district? That's the question facing Maple, Wisconsin. Northern News Now's Quinn Gorham sat down with the superintendent today to talk about the drastic and difficult steps they're taking to maintain their students' quality of education. My husband and I moved out here, um, bought land years ago, specifically for the school district because the school was phenomenal. If I were to look at it today, I don't know that we would make that same decision knowing everything that you're pushing through today. Parents expressed their frustrations Monday night in Maple with a list of changes being made by the district. There's not an area that really hasn't gotten touched. Superintendent Dr. Sarah Crony says those changes come as the district stares down a $595,000 deficit for the upcoming school year. Some of them involve eliminating full-time employees at the district schools. Elimination of a full-time social studies teacher shared by the middle school and the high school. Elimination of a full-time math teacher at the high school. Elimination of a seventh grade teacher at middle school. In total, the school district is losing three part-time employees and five full-time employees. That's a decision Crony says they don't take lightly. The school board uh, and administration are doing their best in making these decisions and trying not to impact students. At the elementary level, that also means the second graders at Iron River Elementary will soon have to attend class at Northwestern Elementary School. That's a roughly 20-minute drive, and students would likely need to take the bus more often to make that happen. To reconsider this as it relates to Iron River, whatever you do in the sec moving these second graders out or suggesting they move to NES is going to impact the town of Iron River, the families here. Crony, adamant that the only other solution to the problem needs to come from the top. I'd like to see either the governor's budget or the uh, state superintendent's uh, budget be approved. In Maple, Quinn Gorham, Northern News Now. Now the superintendent says the changes might impact class sizes at the middle and high school. The district is also making changes to employ overtime and leave and more. We have a full breakdown on our website, northernnewsnow.com. All those changes will go into effect next school year.